Hello, it's Joe Lyons, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a very simple, overall simple, uh, function I wrote with AutoHotKey to uh, remove these null, um, pound null exclamation point uh, data values in Excel. And so when I export from SPSS, if it's a numeric value, the, um, the default is to dump in this thing, and of course this looks ugly if I want to pass it on to a client. And, and often if you're trying to take the mean and stuff, it, it won't handle it. So it's it's great having a um, script that will automatically just go through and replace them. And overall, the, the function itself is very simple. So, of course, I have to connect to the Excel file. Um, and here, in this case, I'm not passing. I'm, I pass it a pointer to the handle. Um, and what I'm doing there is I say, okay, if I don't want to specify a specific range, I want to do the whole file. And when I pass it to it, it comes in here and says, hey, if if range is blank, basically, if it doesn't exist, so if I haven't passed anything, go get the used range of the hand of this program and return it the range, the used range, so any value that has a data value anywhere in the, the file, it'll return it back here. Um, and then we're going to use that range and we're going to replace null with, well, pound null exclamation point with nothing. Um, and so I'm going to save this and reload it just because I don't remember what I did last. And when I run it, you'll see it just goes bam, goes through the file. Now, if this was a big file, that that would take a while. Honestly, I would, I would probably turn off the updates if it was a big file, um, because y y when I say big, I mean like you know, uh, fifty thousand rows, hundred thousand rows, or a million rows. Um, I wouldn't want to do that with it updating it because uh, there's no need and it'll really speed it up. But let's say, and I can't undo. It's one thing I, I don't like this. So I gotta, I gotta. Um, let me see if I can just go this way. Open. Darn. I was hoping it would ask if I wanted to reopen it, so I'm going to not save. Let me go back to it. Oh, you know what? Now I can open Excel back up. And... Okay, yeah, bring it back over. But let's say I didn't want to replace the entire file, I wanted to specify a certain range. And so let's say I wanted from um, I don't know why it has C there. Okay, so from A1 to L9, uh, what I can do is I can come back in here and say comma, and the range is going to be A1 to L9. Oops, not 90. Now when I reload, oop. oh, yeah, I forgot to close my quotes. There we go. Now when I reload it, now it's working. When I run it, you're going to see it's going to leave no, that's a bad choice. Let's go to A6 so we can easily see the difference here. There we go. Reload. Now when I run it, so notice it only did these. It didn't touch the rest of the document. So this is a easy way to control where I want to have it focused. Um, what I'm not showing you is this used range. Uh, I covered this in one of my previous videos, I believe. And uh, I will make it available, the code available, but here... I actually have quite a few. This used range uses um, a lot of other functions I've written. So the get the first alpha column, the first row, the last alpha, and the last row, um, and all of those I've I will include um, in the actual script on my website. But this is a, a simple way. I'm going to do another video showing when you want to um, replace. Actually, this one will work fine too. Of course, you could come in here, and I could easily tweak this one to say. Um, Let's add a third parameter. Uh, let's we're going to change it. Okay, so we're going to say we're not going to make it be replace null. We'll we'll call it replacer. Ooh, here we go. And for that range, and I'm going to say Joe, and of course, so the um, we'll call that needle. And um, haystack. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not the... I'm thinking the wrong thing. So I want to search... Um, replace this with that. So I'll put in my last name. Um, and, of course, down here, I'm going to have to add those. This... I can't type. That... 
and then I need to use it. So I'm going to put it in here. Instead of hard coding it with that, I'm going to say this and that. And of course I need to change this thing so it's not replacer, replace null, it's just replacer. Okay. Um, let me go back to Excel here. And let's just throw in that's probably an exact string match, um, and in my other version, which which I'm going to cover, but this will be probably a, um, um, I you know I think it defaults to an exact string match if you don't specify. Let me minimize this so we can see both. All right, I'm going to save that, reload it, and run it, and there. So it just did. It looked in that range, the only that range, and it replaced Joe with Glines, right? And so. Um, I just adapted this function to, instead of having it hard coded, looking for null. But I I I use that null thing enough where I want to have it hard coded and just have a replacer null, and I don't have to um, use my other function, which I'll cover in another video. Thank you.